In today's world, environmental changes and dynamics in liberalization and globalization in technological innovations and variations have given birth to divergent ways in which our data and a source of information are managed in driving e-services and the running of our daily affairs across board globally. This was what informed the convergence of professionals from the media, academia, and the banking sector at this year's Data Privacy Day with the theme, Data Privacy and the Social Media. Until we start, the one thing we should know is that we must be self-disciplined. Without being disciplined, there's nothing we can do. Put all the gadgets, the technical, the rules, the regulation, the policies in place. If you are not disciplined and you make sure you are so careless that your data goes about anyhow, then there's nothing the government can do or any organization can do. So we will have to start from ourselves, making sure that we keep our data. We don't respond to things we are not supposed to respond to. Social media, WhatsApp, Facebook, all this, we must limit the information we put into all this environment. Else, we will continue to have problems. There already conversation at this year's event, industry professionals and stakeholders who could not agree less as we all now live on the internet as a tool for capacity building and enhancement of our educational and other interests spoke on the need to exercise a lot of caution in whatever we do in our private and public domains. Other participants share their professional experiences and admonish on the relevance of data protection and privacy for the benefit of all. You don't need to know where I live. I don't know what law they are, you know, they are, they are basing their request on, but I will only provide the minimum information required for that purpose. For us, the people write on their CVs, oh, the local government area, this is how this is, you need it. Unless, of course, you are applying for a job in the local government and they're using quota system to design new vessels. Otherwise, some information you are with, the quality ever, the young quality ever, too much information. A lot of us are suffering from TMI. And from my point of view, there are four perspectives from which we need to look at data protection. The first is privacy. It's about privacy, no doubt. The other is control. Another is accountability. And the fourth is national security. So all these elements go into the whole sub data protection law. Most of the time, we have this conflict because, like Madame said, our environment does not have a law that guarantees and protects you. But it behooves you as an individual to ensure that you protect yourself as much as possible. The high point of the event was the presentation of awards to preserving professionals, private organizations, and other stakeholders for their impact and contributions to the development in the ICT sector, of which the Executive Director, CITA for Cyber Awareness and Development, CICAD, Dr. Bayer Wakabi, and CICAD bagged awards respectively. And then I present this part to you.